How are we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick tutorial on how to make a 95% confidence interval using a T distribution. Okay, so just as a reminder, how we uh, make a confidence interval is our average plus or minus our T times our standard error, right? So let's say we took a sample and the average of our sample was 10. Uh, we took our standard deviation of our sample and this is four. And our sample size was 10, right? So not very big, need to use the T distribution here. <clears throat> okay, let's run these three. Um, that's, that's a lot of what we need, right? Uh, the only real last thing that we need is a, a T distribution value there. Um, so what we can do is we'll do our error, right? So this whole thing here is called our margin of error. And so we'll do our T and our standard error there as well. Uh, to get our T, what we do is uh, QT, and then 95% uh, 90, confidence interval means there's 95% in the middle, right? Which means there's gonna be 2.5% in both of the tails. 2.5% in the right, 2.5% in the left, right? So in here, we're not gonna put 0.95, right? We put uh, 0.975. And because this is a T, we need to put our degrees of freedom. And our degrees of freedom are just gonna be N minus one, right? And if we run this real quick, just to look at it, we see that it gives us a T score or a T value of 2.26. Okay, so there's that. We also need our standard error. And so that is just gonna be our standard deviation divided by the square root of N, right? And so if we run that, that's gonna give us our error value here. And then the last step, we just put our average and plus and minus our our uh, margin of error. So we'll say average minus error, All right? That's gonna give us our lower bound. A plus error is gonna give us our, our upper bound. And if we run both of those, we get down here that it's between uh, 7.14 and 12.86, All right? So again, just in stat jargon, stat lingo, uh, we're 95% confidence that confident that the uh, the true average of the population is somewhere between 7.14 and 12.86. Okay, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you're looking for a confidence interval with a normal distribution, uh, there's a video right there that you can click on to, to go see that. Okay, thank you for your time. Have a great day.